So I uh, went for shadow speaking. I think you already know that. Yeah, shadow. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, but the problem was that I had a television where there was no rewind button or something like this. Yeah, true. So mm. I bought uh, a Walkman with a cassette. Yeah, I, so remember. I used to. Okay. Yeah. You have to give one message to the beginners who are beginners and they want to start learning. What do you think? What is the first thing they should do to learn English language? Hello, Gaurav. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. And what about you? I'm doing really well and I'm better after seeing you. So first of all, thank you for sending me an email because I came I came across your channel a few days ago. And mm -hmm. coincidentally, a few days ago, I received your mail. So I'm really glad, actually. <laughs> I'm really glad to connect with you. No, I'm I'm pretty much happy to see you because I saw you some in some of the uh, English Yari videos. And later on, I found that uh, a YouTube channel. So okay. it was just like an icing on the cake. So now I can do it. At <laughs> OK, and I saw your channel also. And I must say your work is commendable, Gaurav. Mm, and I can you. see you're working really hard for it. OK, so Gaurav, I really want my audience to know more about you and me too. I really want to know more about you. So tell me something about yourself. Uh, my name is Gaurav. You already know that. And I have been an English trainer for almost 14 years. And I really enjoy this profession. And uh, when it comes to my hobbies, I like playing cricket. And uh, sometimes I spend time in watching some of the web series. Mm -hmm. OK. And where are you so from? That's all about. Uh, I'm from Delhi. Delhi, okay. Like you're originally yes. from there, born and brought up in Delhi. Uh, originally, if I were to find my roots, so they are from Punjab. So uh, my parents are from Punjab. Oh, and nice. I think you are also from Punjab. Yeah, yeah. Which city are they from? Uh, my father was from uh, uh, Chandigarh, and uh, because uh, now my father is no more. And my mother is uh, uh, from Patiala. Patiala, there yeah. There is a small village. Yes. I know. It's not a village. It's a city. No, no there is a small village in Patiala, like a Tehsil Rajpura. Ah, uh -huh, Rajpura. It's just 45 minutes away from my place. Okay. Nice, nice. Yes. So the common things we have right now, one, we both love watching web series and our parents. We are, are Punjabis. Too. We are Punjabis. Yes. Proud <laughs> Punjabis. So, uh, Gaurav, when did you start learning this language? Because we know that English is not our mother tongue, right? So, how did you start yes. learning this language? Tell me everything. Uh, everything. <laughs> yeah, All right. Everything. So, my journey started. My journey started when I was in uh, graduation, like when I was in my graduating years. So, I was really bad at English. Uh, you would be surprised to hear that. I scored even 33 out of uh, 100 in 12th. And in 10th, I got 35 out of 100. I did really bad in my exams. So I was really bad, at, as I said. So in graduation, uh, because I was from history, honors, Hindi medium, and bulk of the student, like majority of the student, they were from English, English medium. Uh, so they came to history honors because they wanted to go for IAS. So they were preparing for that. So most mm -hmm. of the uh, classes were uh, 70 percent in English and 30 percent for us because whenever the professor used to have mercy on us so that professor used to speak Hindi so that's when I decided that I should learn English so I started burning some midnight oil and uh, mm -hmm. that's where okay. the journey started so how did you start English like how did you start learning yes. uh, when I started learning, I was paying a lot of uh, attention on listening because I used to watch a lot of videos and especially uh, movies because I did not have any cable connection at home because I'm from 90s kid. So I did not have any cable connection at my home. So there used to be a cable wire that was going across my home. So I used to put another wire uh, like an antenna or some kind of thing like this. So that's how I was getting. Just a minute. Yeah, I received the phone call. Okay. Yeah, I was saying that there was a wire going across my home, a cable wire. So I used to put uh, an antenna on that. So that's how I was getting signals. And I used to watch star movies and some other channels. 
and you okay. know when we are from a conventional family where people are not that much educated sometimes they think that you are watching something called adult content or something like that yeah so i used to watch television at night so sometime uh, whenever my parents used to uh, wake up in the middle of the night and they happened to see that i was watching television so i used to hide myself under the blanket so uh, <laughs> So that's how I was able to manage some time because in morning I was not into studies. I used to go here and there because I was from a very small family, and we had a only like 25 square yard room where we were five people. So mm-hmm. I used to wait till everybody uh, went to bed. So mm-hmm. that that very moment I used to turn the television on at very low volume. I did not have any earphone or mobile phone at that time. Yeah. And mm. sometimes I used to go to cyber cafes where I was paying 15 rupees for one hour, and uh, they used to give me a headset. So that's mm. how I was watching some of the programs on that BBC, and I used to listen to some online radio. Mm-hmm. Okay. So and uh, there is a place called the Red Fort. Uh, I think you already know that. Yeah, yeah. So historical building. So I used to go there on Sundays. so where mm-hmm. i used to find people from south india or some other part of the country and even foreigners mm-hmm. so i wanted to speak to them in english but i could not muster that courage but later on hi hello worked for me so that's yeah. how i initiated my journey and uh, later on i made some friends there so i tried to surround myself with english speaking people and mm-hmm. i had a, a friend who was uh, from a multinational company so he had a small library at home where i used to borrow some books so uh, that's when uh, everything started falling on my way and i started uh, like getting some more knowledge of it then i got a job in a multinational company that was in gurgaon so i started my career from there so my professional life started from there and mm-hmm. where i had to speak to british people almost 7 uh, or 8 hours every day okay. so i worked there for one and a half years or almost 2 years and uh, so i don't know who forced me to come to this profession i never wanted to be a teacher but a lot of people started appreciating me when they heard me speaking so uh-huh. when you see people are appreciating you and uh, you have been through that kind of a phase where things were not uh, going well or nobody was uh, there to help you so i decided i should extend my helping hand to people those who want to learn something like this because i earned that much money which where i could uh like try some new things if i failed in doing something uh, like if i failed in this this profession like teaching profession at that time i thought if i failed in that i would go back to my own, uh, previous job or my previous organization mm. so basically you left your job and then you switched on to uh, as a spoken english trainer job right yeah i was an abscond from there <laughs> So like how did you pick up that job i mean from where exactly did you start uh as i said one of my friends uh, one of my friends was already working in one of the top multinationals so i used to spend some time with him he had a, a small library at home where i used to get raymond murphy and some other grammar books and i used to watch uh, television in english especially star movies hbo and there were some other channels also so i uh, went for shadow speaking i think you already know that yeah shadow so, mm-hmm. yeah but the problem was that i had a television where there was no rewind button or something like this yeah true so mm-hmm. i bought uh, a walkman with a cassette yeah i, so I used to <laughs> so yeah. i used to record that and later on i was listening to it so i spent almost 200 rupees for that that was not a uh, branded one So mm. that's what uh, that's how I was practicing that again and again. Actually my question was something else. So my question was like how like how did you start your own institute? Spoken English institute. I thought how did you start uh, like learning and all. Yeah, I know like you told me but okay. actually like from where did you start? Where did you set up your institute? So I'm asking about that. So that is a uh, like nearby my home. So one of my friends uh, came my home who was already running an institution with another friend. So they had some kind of spat between them. They had an argument. So I don't know about that the uh, story by, behind that. So that person forced me to start an institution. He found a place for me. He bought some chairs and uh, a writing board. So yeah. I took 20 20 or 22 days leave from my office. 
So you said that if you are not able to uh, like uh, run your institute, if you do not enjoy that, you have uh, another option. Another but please, option. you speak really well, so you should help the people here. So mm -hmm. I don't know the motive behind uh, that particular uh, buttering or pastoring and all. So that's how I came to this profession. And later on, I started enjoying that. Within uh -huh. two months, I got 40 to 50 students. And I was able to earn 30 or 40,000 rupees there. But here uh -huh. in this institution, I was earning around almost the same within <laughs> one or two months. So I thought if I continue this as I'm already enjoying, I got uh -huh. everything because of this language. So I should now I have already accumulated a lot. Now I need to give it back. So that's when I started my institution and uh, later on everything was going well. So see, I really want to uh, conclude like from your learning journey. First thing is mm -hmm. that you had the desire. You were mm -hmm. desperate to learn this language. And that was the reason you started taking steps towards it. And I can see that you worked really hard and you spent some money also to learn that mm -hmm. language. So you started picking this language from listening, reading, yes. and then you would try speaking with foreigners whom you met mm -hmm. at uh, Red Fort. And uh, sometimes you would talk to your friends too. Okay. Yes. So like, if you have to give one message to the beginners who are beginners and they want to start learning, what do you think? What is the first thing they should do to learn English language? First, as you said that, there should be a desire. And as we always say that when you have a bigger aim or bigger goal, so you should think that you should give at least considerable time. And learning takes time. Learning a language is not an easy thing, but it is not that much difficult. If I'm able to do that, everybody is able to do this. So start from the level. First, you need to understand your level. Mm -hmm. If you are not able to frame sentences, there is no hard like hard feelings in the accepting that I'm not able to make sentences. So I should start from the very scratch. So first mm -hmm. I need to frame some smaller sentences and bit by bit I will get that uh, confidence and uh, try to speak in front of others. Sometimes we simply think that other person will start laughing or he will start mm -hmm. laughing at me or making fun of me. It's all okay. right. Even I was laughed at. But mm -hmm. I took it as a compliment. Now people do not laugh. First people laugh at you and then they follow. So we should yeah. understand this thing. And later on, things will definitely change. But you mm -hmm. need to have a determination. You need to give yourself some time. Sometimes we know ourselves better than others. We should not mm. give our remote control to others. They are going to operate us. So mm. stand at least start with 15 or 20 minutes. It's OK. Mm. Learn some mm. basic words. And uh, what I did is uh, like, sorry, what I did was that I started uh, learning those basic words that all the activities, I must say verbs that I was uh, I was capable of doing or the things that I was doing around or the things which were happening around me. So I yeah. started picking those simple words so that I would be able to communicate. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. later on, I was adding some adjectives, adverbs and some other things. But start, first, you need to start framing some basic sentences. Basic sentences, short yes. sentences. And they have to yes. pick some action verbs. Yes, that, that is going to help a lot. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So right nowadays, we see there are so many platforms uh, mm -hmm. which offer speaking sessions. So mm -hmm. do you think that these sessions are really helpful for them? Uh, everything is going to help a person who wants to do something or who wants to change or bring change in his way of speaking mm -hmm. and uh, he wants to hone his skills. But honestly mm -hmm. speaking, first you need to speak to the people around you because when you are facing a camera or when you are speaking to someone, so at least you need to have that kind of skill because nowadays a lot of people are simply starting their channels and you might have seen some of the yeah. channels where yeah, people are not able to communicate. Yes, they are yeah. not able to communicate in a nice way, but it's all right mm -hmm. if this is their choice, but start looking for partners. Nowadays, there are many platforms, as you said, that where we can talk over the mm. phone rather than simply going for a video call. Mm. So some of my students are already using there is a uh, there is an application. I haven't used it. That is a speaking or something where they are able to uh, communicate with other people or other learners. So when you listen to people or when you watch people speaking, so later on you can also imitate them or you can uh, uh, like start speaking like them. 
there are few apps uh, and yes. these are and these are free of cost also you don't have to pay yes. money there yes. are ba- so many learners who cannot afford money so what kind of app would you like to suggest them uh, i don't know the names of all those applications but few of them which are uh, used by some of my students and that is a speaking a c e a speaking i think or okay. there are applications where you can make a phone call to other people yeah One so randomly I- people are yeah. yes SIVI is an app CV, so you, they can yes, connect okay. with strangers and the, those who want mm-hmm. to practice their English speaking, so they can connect with them. But what yes. I see, there is no harm investing in your speaking session. They are quite helpful. Yes. Like I am there at English Jari as a tutor, and such kind of platform, they are so genuine and teachers are so genuine. They actually give you correct feedback they guide you really well so there is no harm mm-hmm. investing your money in upgrading your skills that's what i feel yeah yeah even i am running an institution a lot of people are coming but uh, they have a problem sometimes they want to go only for those institutes which are nearby their homes you have few teachers with you who teach or you are the only one who is handling everything i have been the only one <laughs> I'm really? seriously so looking for some. Yeah, I had one student. Yeah, I had one student that who started teaching at my institute. Uh, I gave him two or three batches because he wanted to be a teacher. So okay. now, I think uh, he uh, he is running his his own institute or he is giving some online classes also. Mm-hmm. That's nice. <laughs> they are trained under yeah. you, and now they are starting their own um, you know platform where they can teach. That's yeah. that's great. So um, if we have to tell students that, you know, those who are at the beginning stage, they want to learn English. So from mm-hmm. where exactly they should start? Because some people, they get confused, ma'am, should we focus on grammar? Should we focus on vocabulary? So what do you think? From where should they start? Uh, they should not simply, con- like they should not concentrate on one aspect of a language. Grammar is important. So as vocabulary. And your pronunciation and everything is important. So you need a mentor who can guide you through all those things because nowadays many things are available. That's the problem. When you go online, there are thousands of people giving thousands yeah. of millions of advice. Mm. So it becomes very difficult to pick the right person. So mm. ask yourself who is going to help you. So go through that particular uh, the methodology that person gives you. Because whatever that I'm going to suggest you, that might not help you. So everybody has their own levels on problems. So once you sit next to a, a teacher or you come across a particular platform where they are teaching or giving or imparting knowledge, then that person can simply uh, give you a customized uh, approach. How mm. to go about things as you are already uh, teaching, you are already into teaching. Yeah. So when we come across a student, uh, it varies from one person to the other. Some mm. people, they are not able to frame sentences. Some people are able to frame sentences, but they are not able to articulate. So then yeah. we have to customize everything. We need to just mm-hmm. go through some of the patterns because we have a different approach for different people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree. With but one thing they must... Uh, notice and one thing they must know that while joining any class they must know that speaking is very important because yes. some institutions what i've seen they focus on grammar like one month yes they spend in teaching grammar they hardly yes. focus on their speaking or writing so speaking is the key so if 20 30 percent they are focusing on mm-hmm. grammar rest of the percentage they should focus on speaking too let me tell you what I do when I receive, a, like whenever I get any student who is starting from the scratch or from very uh, basic level. So I give him some basic lessons for first of seven or eight days and I make that person sit with the people, those who are speaking good. Mm. So I may, I just indirectly force other people to talk to him outside the class, even in the class and ask some basic questions. So sometimes that exposure gets them certain uh, confidence that okay yesterday yeah. I was not able to do that so some students helped me outside the class so whatever that I learned from the uh, class and outside the class I will simply uh, use that particular knowledge while talking to uh, my teacher or while sitting in front of the others so that's yeah. how they keep helping each other 
because i try to create an atmosphere because i cannot yeah. start too many batches for different levels mm-hmm. so because i am left with only few hours so i have uh, like almost 20 to 30 students in one batch so that's okay. how i do i surround myself with only basic students and the people mm-hmm. those who are able to speak or those who are at a good level so i make them sit separately so they start talking so i am paying attention to them also i keep listening to them if there is any area of improvement so i make them understand that and then they simply write it down and the people those who are learning basic lessons so sometime i start uh, striking a simple conversation like uh, mm. tell me about your family and all if you yeah. see this notebook whose notebook is this is it mm. white or blue or black so that's how they gain uh, like yeah. a basic like vocabulary this- yeah they they are picking sentences also and yes. basic vocabulary also that's a good technique yes. also yeah mm-hmm. so gora it was really a nice conversation with you and i am sure that this conversation will really help learners to learn english well and they'll get some view some you know insight to learning english language so and mm-hmm. they should also understand that learning any language is not tough until and unless you have that curiosity to learn anything yes. so that is the yes. main thing that they need like you have the strong desire yeah rightly stated yes yeah, so thank and you it's so pleasure much talking to you and i'm looking forward to having more sessions like this sure sure i really enjoyed this conversation thank you so much for giving me your time pleasure is all mine thank you okay okay